When it comes to climate activism, one group has been dominating the headlines in recent weeks. Lorry drivers' favourite, Insulate Britain. Of course, they're gluing themselves to the roads. They're generally vegan pensioners and have a bone density that might see them carried off in a stiff autumn breeze like a flesh kite. <laughs> Here we see their spokesman getting a bizarre grilling by Richard Madeley in the unforgiving studio glare of Good Morning Britain. This is not a flippant question, OK? I just wonder what makes you and the people who performed that demonstration yesterday clairvoyant. Because how can you possibly know what's in the vehicles that you're holding up for hours? For example, if you just bear, bear with me on this question, how do you know that there aren't parents with a child who's going to an absolutely vital appointment with their cancer specialist? How do you know there's not a funeral cortege and that people are going to their mother's or father's funeral? How do you know that there aren't people going to, to them is a vital job interview, which might actually be to do with helping to save the planet. Can you justify that? I'd be furious. Well, then why are you doing it? Because, as I've just said, what we do in the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity. What would you say to the widow of a man who yesterday, and this could have happened, it didn't, but it could have happened, and if you continue with this protest, it could well happen, who died behind the wheel of stuck traffic of a heart attack? If we could produce a woman in the studio now whose husband died next to her in the car because they couldn't move, they couldn't get to a clinic or a hospital because of what your guys were doing, what would you say to her? I mean, there's so much to unpack there. <laughs> uh, first of all, a funeral on the M25? <laughs> How fast is that fucking funeral going? <laughs> it's also like if you miss your imaginary kid's cancer appointment and they're like, oh, you missed your 15-minute grace period, no chemo for you. <laughs> you know, should have made a wish for a hovercraft, you know? <laughs> Every charge that he levelled at that Insulate Britain guy, you could also level at any lollipop lady. <laughs> yeah. Or hedgehog, really. Someone be that angry and that confrontational at 8 a.m. <laughs> I feel sorry for Judy. I bet every day it's like, Morning, Richard. Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Professional sort of like middle-aged men, what about us? Yeah, yeah. It's so tedious and exhausting. So, so I went plant-based a few years ago because for environmental reasons, right? I absolutely love me. I'm a farmer's daughter. I didn't want to give it up. I just thought it was the best thing for the planet. And then I go to a wedding, and that's the kind of bell end that I'm sat next to. <laughs> and they're like, okay, all right. Um, your child's about to die. The only thing to feed them is a cow. Do you punch the cow to death? <laughs> it's all that kind of thing. And then. They're also the same people who are obsessed with bacon. They're like, oh. you know, don't you miss bacon, don't you miss bacon? But I'm going to miss Blackpool more when it's underwater. <laughs> I do think we're giving the insulate guy a bit of an easy ride here compared to Mailey, and they've done a stunt that's attracted loads of publicity. That, that's very good, but then you're like, but what's the thing? And you've got to be able to make clear to people what, what your message is, I think. Well, it's a unique kind of messaging failure, isn't it? Because the message they want to get across is you should insulate your loft. And the one they've got across is, we hate ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> they got a point, but the way they're going around it is shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you'll get used to a printing shop, get a load of leaflets, pop them in letter boxes. <laughs> we, we might be sitting here, though, going, look at this extraordinary clip of Richard Maidley going absolutely nuts at a leafleter. <laughs> <laughs> there is the thing, isn't there, where sometimes what people can do when they start doing what about this, what about that, and imagining stuff, is you can just imagine stuff back. <laughs> so the guy should have gone, well, what if, in that traffic jam, a paedophile had parked beside a psychiatrist? <laughs> And they'd got talking, and by the time they both drove off, that psychiatrist was a paedophile. <laughs> a fine note to end on.